Oh, I've heard about the woman next door. She lived with her mother and kept to herself. She was attractive, but she never dated, or did she? She never smiled, sadness tinted her eyes. Her conversations never drifted beyond the weather or have a nice day. Like porcelain, she kept her secrets wrapped in boxes. Her mother told me that her daughter brought a bride doll in Macy's. It resembled her daughter, ash blonde, shoulder length hair, wavy with bangs, blue eyes and porcelain skin. Pink flowers dotted its veil. Its white gown had minimal lace. Yet the bouquet was missing. Her daughter brought the doll back. After the doll was wrapped with the bouquet, she spoke of its remarkable likeness, an omen that she was to be married. The sales associate was unresponsive. Her daughter took the bag and left. The mother and daughter believed in fortune tellers. The daughter came home crying from their last visit. Screens penetrated the walls. I thought I heard a dish crash. In the morning, the bride doll laid headless in the trash can. Bits of hair, arms, and legs were scattered between the shredded dress and veil. Next to the broken head was the bouquet. The eye sockets were empty. Sparkling blue and white glass dusted the doll's remains. I've moved to the city, but heard that the mother died. The daughter, a recluse with five stray cats, disappeared. And, uh, back to my two haiku. When I say it once, I'm going to come around again. When I do this, you better be listening. <laughs> Faucet waterfall. Thinking of cats and haiku while brushing my teeth. Faucet waterfall. Thinking of cats and haiku. While brushing my, my teeth. teeth. Good. And last, this is pretty much what's going on in the village right now. How to write it after hearing that left bank books is gone? No. Yeah. yeah. Rent is killing art. Culture is six feet under. The village is dead. Rent is killing art. Culture is six feet under. The, the village, village is, is dead. dead. Long live the village. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck the 1%. Fuck Trump. Thank you.